Hey guys, Poodan here. So last week on the channel, I counted down my top 5 favourite water type Pokemon. And of course, in the video, I asked you guys to vote for which type I should cover next. And with the majority vote, the fire type won. So guys, today I'm going to be counting down my top 5 favourite fire type Pokemon. Remember that this is just my opinion, so if you don't agree with the list, be sure to let me know who your top 5 favourite fire type Pokemon are down in the comments. Let's try getting maybe 50 likes on this video, it'd be really appreciated. But anyway, let's begin. Coming in at number 5 on this list is Kanto Legend Moltres. As you guys know, my first Pokemon game was Pokemon Platinum, but what you may not have known is that the first Pokemon anime I watched was the Kanto anime. Whenever I saw Moltres appear in the anime, I remember that younger me would be in full hype mode. Anyway, another reason why I like Moltres is because of its awesome design. Most likely being based on a phoenix, Moltres is one hot Pokemon. But anyway, apart from its design and appearances throughout the Pokemon anime, there isn't much else I love about Moltres. And that's why it only just made this list. In at the number 4 spot on this list is Pyro. For a while, Pokemon fans have had their lists of animals they want to see become a Pokemon. A Koala, which we got recently in the form of Kamala. A Dolphin, which I guess is Tapu Fini, though it is pretty debatable. And of course, a Lion. So it comes to no surprise that when Pyro was first revealed for Pokemon X and Y, fans were pretty happy. When we said we wanted a Lion Pokemon, we meant it. And Pokemon did not let us down. In all honesty, I would have preferred it if Pyro was a fire and dark type, but I'm not too upset with the typing it has now with fire and normal. Like Moltres though, I mainly like Pyro for its design. I haven't really watched too much of the Pokemon XYZ anime, so I also missed Pyro's debut in it, but regardless, Pyro is a Pokemon that I love, and it's in at number 4 on this list. <laughs> Coming in at number 3 on this list is Incineroar. For anyone who watched my top 5 favourite water type Pokemon, you know that at one point I said I was on Team Litten, and yeah, just because I wanted to pick Poplio instead, it doesn't mean that I dislike Litten at all. In all honesty, I think that the Alola starter trio is one of the best we've had for a while in Pokemon, so I actually like all of them pretty equally. But anyway, Incineroar just has this Damn beastly design, and guess what? It's not a fire fighting type. Well done, Pokemon! But yeah, Incineroar is a fire and dark type. Such a badass typing that just fits this Pokemon so well. Unlike Poplio, I like all three stages of Litten. Listen, Brion, I'm sorry, I just don't like you. Litten is amazing. Toracat is amazing. Incineroar is amazing. But I didn't pick it as my starter for Sun and Moon. And by the way, I know I said I was going to pick Poplio. But when I was faced with the choice of choosing my starter, I just chose Rowlet. Don't really know why, but I just did. But anyway, Incineroar is an awesome Pokemon and really does deserve the number 3 spot on this list. Coming in at number 2 is another fire and flying type, and it is Talonflame. When Fletchling was first revealed for Pokemon X and Y, I found it adorable and knew I would have it on my XY team. I thought Fletchling would be like all of the other regional bird Pokemon and evolve into a normal and flying type, but boy was I wrong. When my Fletchling evolved into a Fletchinder and it wanted to learn Flame Charge, I was a bit confused. But then I checked it out in my party and found it to be a fire and flying type, aka a good type. Not many people predicted this, but nevertheless they loved it. When my Fletchinder evolved into a Talonflame, boy was I happy. Talonflame, in my opinion at least, is the best and most badass looking regional bird Pokemon yet. It's also pretty useful in competitive play too, but I'm not gonna go into that here. For however many episodes of the Kalos anime I did manage to watch, I remember seeing Ash's Fletchinder evolve, and let me just say, if you haven't seen it already, Talonflame in the anime is a freaking badass Pokemon. I love it so much, but not enough to be at number 1. Well, let's see what Pokemon did make it at number 1. <laughs> Ash. 
And the Pokemon at the number one spot on this list is none other than my first ever starter Pokemon, Infernape. Like I mentioned previously on this list, Platinum was my first Pokemon game, and well, I chose Chimcha. To me, you'll always remember your first starter Pokemon, and I certainly do. Infernape was the powerhouse of my Sinnoh team. If there was a Pokemon that none of my team could defeat, I knew I could rely on Infernape. Although it is a fire and fighting type, in my opinion, it's the best fire and fighting type. It's an amazing Pokemon, from its design, to its appearance in the anime, and much, much more. The whole evolution line, in my opinion, is perfect. Chimchar's design has the perfect combination of cool and cute, Monferno looks really cool, and Infernape just looks like a freaking badass. I could talk about how awesome Infernape is for hours, but I won't bore you guys, so Infernape's at number one, for nostalgic reasons to me, because it was my first starter. But anyway guys, that concludes this list. I really hope you all enjoyed, and if you have, be sure to leave a like and subscribe for more. Also, be sure to let me know who your favourite fire types are down in the comments. But for now, I've been Pokedan, you've been amazing, expect grass next week, and I'll see you guys then.